hello guys in this video we are going to have a look at this text embedding inference library from hugging face this library is extremely useful if you are looking to implement your own rag pipeline rag stands for retrieval augmented generation and in simple words what rag does is it gives more context to the large language models of your own custom personal data all of these LLMs, the large language models are trained on huge corpus or, or set of data, but they are not aware of your own personal or your custom data from your company, your enterprise or wherever. If you want to provide that context of data to these models, you need to first convert that your own text to numerical representation, which is called as embedding or vector. And then you need to store that embedding into a vector store under an index. And then from there, you need to rack whatever data is stored in that vector. And whenever then someone issues a query to the model as per your own data, you grab the similar content from your own data and then you augment it with user's prompt and then you give it to the LLM and that is how your LLM gets more context around your own data. So that is a high level of what embedding models do and what embeddings is and the rag pipeline. That is why in order to build a successful AI powered application which is backed by the data, you need to have a good rag pipeline. And one of the core component of that rag pipeline is your embedding toolkit. And that is where this hugging face toolkit text embedding inference comes into play. It is a toolkit for deploying and serving open source text embedding and sequence classification models. And we will in this video install it locally and then we will see some of the examples of embeddings of re-ranker models and also for sequence classification models. TEI enables high performance extraction for the most popular models including flag embedding, Ember, GTE and E5. TEI implements many features such as no model graph compilation step. It also supports Metal, it also supports Docker and in fact it gives you small Docker images and fast boot times and you just use it as a, in a serverless way. It also supports token based dynamic batching plus it also enables you to have optimized transformer code inference using flash attention, candle and cublast and we already have covered all of them on the channel. It also supports safe tensor weight loading and it is production ready out of the box. You can even uh, integrate it with OpenTelemetry, Prometheus and few other instrumentation and observability tools. Okay, so that said and done, let's try to get it installed locally and then we will play around with it. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So, please do check them out. Let's go to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen and let me see cd out of this previous directory now first step let's create a conda environment which is going to keep everything separate from our local system and i'm just going to call it tei as you can see on your screen let's wait for it to get installed and activate that and that is already done let's git clone the repo of this uh, text in uh, embedding inference and i will cd into it that's it I will drop the link to it in video description too. Okay, so if you do the ls-ltr here, you will see that they have provided some of the assets here. The most important one is that it supports a Docker. So you need to have Docker installed here. I already have Docker installed with this version. If you don't know how to install Docker, please search the channel and you should be able to find a couple of videos around it. So Docker is there. That is all good. Let me change the permission to the SOC file of the docker because I'm in the Conda environment that is done. So first up, let's try to see how the embedding works in this TEI. So for that, I'm just going to set some variables. I'm just setting 
the model as this embedding model bge large en 1.5 and then for the container data i'm just setting this present working directory and its data i'm just getting the data directory which will act as a volume for that container which will run okay now in order to run this all you need to do is to use this docker command which is going to use gpus because i'm using gpu here as you can see already and then i'm mapping this port 8080 the local port with containers port 80 volume is just data which we have just defined and then i am always pulling this image uh, which is text embedding inference with this model id so let's run it because it is not present on my local system so first time it is going to pull it let's wait for to pull all the layers So layers have been pulled and it is downloading all the stuff including the model let's wait for it to finish okay everything is done and it is now serving at this port 80 as you can see on our local system now let me go to another terminal for the same server and then we can do the inference there for the inference all you need to do you can use any restful api client i'm using curl here on the local host i'm just using embed endpoint with that and then i'm just asking it what is a deep learning so let me run it and as soon as i have ran it it has created the embeddings out of it so these are all the embeddings for just this one so this has been numerically represented like this okay so this is how embedding works so you can use this embedding model to convert any of your text into this embedding way and of course there are a few other steps of chunking and all that stuff but in this way uh, we are just looking at the embedding model so we have seen how embedding model works let me go to previous window and in this one let me press ctrl c and let me clear the screen and now let's check out um, how does the re-ranker model works for re-ranker just simply give this model bge re-ranker model and there are various the re-ranker models by the way which you can check on hugging face now i've just again set this volume to this pw present working directory data and then in order to install the re-ranker model all you need to do is to run that docker command again but with this one so now one thing i would highly suggest that before you run this you should just uh, try to do the docker stop so that the previous one which is already running will stop if it is already running and in order to check that just run this command doctor docker ps so nothing is running which is good if anything is running then you can do docker stop and container id but as we see that there is nothing running so we are all good and we can run our docker command with the re-ranker model so let me run it here that is going to download it let's wait for it it is downloading the model tensor let's wait for it to become ready okay so our re-ranker model is ready let's go to our another screen let me clear it and then we will run this here so this command is doing the re-ranking and by the way, when we say re-ranker model, re-ranker models are sequence classification cross encoder models with a single score, uh, with a single class that scores a similarity between a query and a text. So we have given it here. So if you, you run it, this has given you that, okay, this is the index, this is the score. It is very, very similar and which is not similar. So that is what it does. Okay, so let's clear it. So now we see that our re-ranker how re-ranker model works and now let's check out another feature of this library which is a sequence classification let me stop it and then let's clear the screen quickly check if anything is running nothing that is good and then for sequence classification i am using roberta based go emotions because i will be classifying the emotions in a sentence so let's do this again similar stuff and now let's run the docker command with this new model it is going to pull it and it is going to start it on our local system let's wait for it and once it is ready we will go to another screen and do our sequence classification on a text 
so it is ready let me take you to my another screen and we will use a curl command on the same port and the input is i like you and let's see what prediction it makes this there you go it says label love admiration that is correct approval yes and then you see the disappointment is very low the amusement is low so it has ranked it love is 0.98 which is quite good so this is how sequence classifier works okay let me clear the screen here and then let me take you back to my original screen let me press ctrl c let's clear the screen quickly check if anything is running nothing that is cool next up and the last feature is where i wanted to show you is split pulling with the help of this dei so let me set it now what is split pulling split pulling is a technique that helps models like embedding model to better understand text by combining the benefits of dense and sparse pulling what it does is it selectively aggregates the most relevant tokens representations rather than using all tokens and then it incorporates dense embeddings that capture relationships between tokens this results in a more comprehensive representation of the input text capturing long range dependencies and contextual relationships and leading to improved performance on various natural language processing task and that is what this model efficient split does okay so this is initialized and now let's run it with docker and for the end you see that for the polling we are using split so let's wait for it to get ready and then we will go to our another screen when where we are going to do the inference with it, it shouldn't take too long and these are very lightweight models there you go it is ready now let me take you to my nether terminal and let's do the split pulling on this i like you there you go so this is the split pulling it has selectively done the aggregation there and for instance if you go back you see it says success so this is how you can also programmatically control it in your api call so all in all amazing a toolkit free open source you can use it with these models they are as good as any other model in the closed source or paid ones you can build your own rack pipelines with it you can build your embedding features your re-ranking features your split pulling your sequence classification whatever you like there are a few other things too but these are the main ones i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching